Good morning, welcome to SCADA World YouTube channel and today I have a video about some scripting. In last video we talked about the animation, the color animation by dynamic dialog, C scripting, visual basic scripting and animation. So our tag A just change the color from the gray to green. You can go back and check this video and today I want to show you the hmm, scripting the OR function. So we have tag A and tag B and these tags should work with OR functionality. So again we will go with the dynamic dialog C scripting visual basic scripting and the animation. Okay, I need to prepare some tags, IO fields and the description for this. And after I'm ready, we can go with the scripting. Okay, so I have the tag A and tag B. This is binary tags. I prepared on the first video of this schedule and today I will use this again with tag A and tag B and today we will scripting the OR functionality. Okay, I need to move this and move this a little bit, okay. Now I will copy paste my squares from the top to second row Okay, I have this. Now we will go with the dynamic dialog functionality. The background color, we have the tag A only. And now we want to put the OR functionality. How to make this? It's simple. We need to add another symbol and we need to add the tag B functions. Okay, now we can try to run time. WinCC is running right now and we can check if this tag A and tag B is working with the OR functionality. Yes, it is. The tag A is flashing all our squares Okay, as we see, and after I put the tag B also on the one, it's still green. After I put the tag A to zero, I have only one square. And after I go with the tag B to zero, I have gray color. Okay, the next one, we have the C action scripting, we have defined the tag one as a tag A. And now I need to put the tag second, define the tag second as a tag B. And now I will put the tag second into if else functions. Okay, so we have the functionality there get tag double from the tag one and now we need to put exactly of course almost exactly the same as we did in the tag first okay so c action is done now we go to visual basic action okay the do you want to compile yes i want to have Visual Basic Script Action. Okay, this font is so small, I need to change this. Okay, the font functions, I will put the 14. Okay, so I have the expression, the tag one. Now I need to put the tag second. And this tag second, I need to put into these three lines. So I'm reading data from take one, take A, 
and I'm reading tag one dot value and the same with the tag B. So I copy paste the three lines and I will use this functionality to make the expressions. Okay, tag second, expression second, tag second, value. Okay, now I have the tag one and tag second, expression one is not zero and tag B is not zero. So I will use the or functionality. So if my tag one or tag B is not zero, this color should be green. Okay, so after this, we can go and check syntax. Yes, it's okay. The last one is the animation, the new function on WinCC 7.5. And this functionality allow us to make some tag connections and expressions. The expression builder is great because we, we can select some tags and we have some expression like the OR function. So tag A OR, now we need to select the second tag and we have tag A OR tag B. Okay, so we have the full expression right now and we can try to make the WinCC running. Let's play this. Activate the runtime after I put the tag A on the one. Everything is green, it's good. Into zero, so I have zero. Now tag B is one. Tag A is one. Okay, it's running. Now I can put to zero. Yes all the squares are gray. So it's running correctly. Okay, I hope you like this kind of video. We talked about the scripting, dynamic dialog, C scripting, visual basic scripting, and the animation. Of course, it was some of demo. I hope you try yourself on your SCADA system and see you on next video. Bye.